Hey everyone, glad to see you back here. I know it's been a while. Uh, I've been fighting a uh, few issues and then we had some storms and then we had some property damage that we had to get taken care of. And I know it's been a few weeks since we put anything out as far as video content goes. But tonight, just I got a little bit of time here. I'd like to try and get these idlers off. And the main reason is I want to see what the internals look like to see if these are even worth building up. They are getting really thin in the casting just from how they sat. And if you can see it, and here you can see it, they've actually rolled part of that over. Now I could put these in the lathe and true that all back up, but I'm just curious if these are worth saving or not. And I think that will be determined by what we find inside there. So to get this started, we need to pull off these bolts in here and we should be able to slide the whole works out and then take it apart from there. So let's get after it. I was able to get all the bolts out, except for that one on the inside right there. Unfortunately, that one had rusted too bad and it wasn't even the original size anymore. I tried going down to an 11 16 from a three quarter. That didn't work. And then I tried going to metric sockets and I just ended up rounding it off. So unfortunately, it's gone, but it would have been replaced either way. So now that all those are out, we should be able to slide this forward. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So in the past I've had people ask why I just don't weld something to like these bolts to then get them out. And the truth is I find it easier just to cut the head off. You relieve all pressure then. You're not fighting, you know, the, those threads holding pressure back. And these snap-on PWZ series pliers make wonders for grabbing a hold of what's left of this stud. You can walk it right out. Back over at the channels here you can see where these have worn quite a ways, I would say probably a good eighth of an inch into both of these channels. This really doesn't scare me so much because if need be, I could get this piece in my mill. Uh, it would be hanging off the one end quite, quite far, but I think it could, could be done. So we could build that up and machine that back true. But if we look at the idler, I'll bring you over here and show you what I found. So over at the idler, this is a little different story. It has worn this one just paper thin. Didn't really wear a ton in the bottom, but definitely all on the top. Uh, probably could build this up. I'm going to see if I can find an early set of these arms because in the later years they change and this becomes a two-piece deal. This arm is no longer part of the hub itself so we'll have to see if i can find some early parts and we'll go from there let's get this apart and see what the rest of it looks like so to get these apart this nut has to be loosened up and i left it on there just so i could hit that nut with the hammer get that pin loose i should be able to pull that off of there but this bracket's gonna be in my way. I don't think these bolts are gonna come out. They look pretty bad as far as rust goes. I already have the torch out. I think I'm just gonna cut them on both sides. They'll more than likely get replaced anyway if I even end up using this setup. So we'll get these brackets out of the way. I'll bring you back. 
just real quick before I do torch them off. I just want to show you guys what I deal with on some of this. There, there's nothing to grab a hold of anymore. I mean, the, the corrosion has just gone too far. Keep those shims organized from side to side. Even though going back together, we may not use the same parts. Um, I don't know if you guys can quite see it. Let me move you here. Here's one reason. Right there. They are awfully thin. Just on the bottom side where they sat for so many years in the dirt. A lot of corrosion on the inside. You don't see it so much here on the outside, but on the inside, I could just feel it with my hand. There's a ton of pitting and corrosion in there. And I'm afraid that's gonna basically deem these unusable, or if anything, they will be set aside for fixes down the road for maybe another machine, or it all depends on what I can find. If I can't find anything, we'll fix these and will run with them but sometimes you're just better off replacing it with that wear plate and shims out of the way just tap that back up there just a big tapered pin almost similar to like what the old uh, front car axles and pickup axles used to use I know semi axles still use something very similar to that as well the front idler resting on a track roller frame. I think we can just tap that through. Okay, with that apart, let's take a quick minute to inspect what we found here. And then I unfortunately have to call it a night. don't think you'll be able to see it but I can definitely feel the wear in that pin I'll bring you guys in for a closer view here in a second as far as the washers and bushings go I'll clean some of that grease out if I can get this opened up here feel any serious gulling or scoring going on. Same with that. Actually pretty smooth. Look at the idler here itself. Bushings feel good there. I do think these would be a good candidate to build back up. I don't see anything majorly wrong internally. Faces seem good. Bushings are good. We'd have to measure those to make sure they're within spec, but really the even the shaft itself, although it does have some wear. That is to be expected. You're putting a lot of tension back on these. I'll show you guys the wear here. So if you're looking, you can just catch that top line and then catch that bottom line about right there. Not too bad overall. I'll have to get them cleaned up. Actually get some measurements on this stuff. Um, like I said, just the amount of wear in here is what concerns me 
you can see how tall that used to be and how it tapers out and the other side's only even worse so we'll have to figure out if I can find some replacement arms and maybe swap this shaft and all these bushings and stuff and then figure out what we want to do about our daylight problem in our front idler so everyone thanks for sticking around thanks for watching like I said I know it's been a few weeks since we put anything out uh, just other problems going on we had to take care of first everything's good to go now so let's get back into this project unfortunately toys are never on the top of the list so as I said I appreciate it everyone who likes follows there will be more to come.